there are several different options to record uh, to do tutorial videos or screen captures uh, this is one of them Camtasia Studios uh, it's pretty pricey right under 300 uh, it's a really good program this is what it looks like you have your once you have, once you record uh, this was comes up this is your preview window and here's your audio track uh, audio track one is what you record when you're doing your screen screencast um, I normally do voiceovers so this is my audio track two uh, you have several different things you can do here uh, call out zoom and pan um, like I said the audio you can fix the audio uh, noise removal in case you got like a humming in the background or what have you uh, you can also optimize it <coughs> transitions and also they there's they have a quiz where you can kind of make it um, you know ask certain questions give different options and that way if you're doing this as a, a, a true tutorial or a teaching uh, this is pretty neat feature now the next one is fraps fraps right under forty dollars really good program it is mainly used for gamers uh, the reason for that is it captures 60 frames per second so it's real time it's a awesome program the only downfall is that for every minute of recording you're looking at about a gigabyte of space so it's I mean it's huge as far as uh, the space goes uh, but if you have a huge hard drive then it shouldn't be a problem you can also uh, reduce the file size different using different programs but um, this is a, a really good program especially for the price now the next one is uh, from Faststone I really like this program uh, out of all of them this was the cheapest and by far I mean I absolutely love it now the one that I use is I use this one too Faststone photo resizer but that's that's a different tutorial um, this is the one that I use Faststone capture right now I'm using fraps to record this but Faststone capture is what I normally use uh, you can download it and to purchase it it's on it's right under twenty dollars so it's the cheapest one as far as price goes but value um, I think it's one of the best so for twenty dollars you can't go wrong now the way the uh, fraps I'm gonna step back a little bit the way fraps looks is this right here you have different tabs so for fraps I'm under the movie tab uh, you can record the sound that comes from your computer also right now I'm recording from the mic um, if you wanted to you could record only when you push the spacebar so that's a pretty cool feature and um, right now it's 60 frames per second full size so and you have the option to split it every four gigabytes um, of course there's other options here to reduce the file size which would be good now to go forward as I was mentioning the uh, fast stone that one it looks like this it's a real little bar that comes up you can move it around or you can minus it uh, you can do a capture the active window uh, this one I like this one you can do a you know just capture whatever size you want this one you can make different shapes and capture that uh, this one I really like whenever there's a, a web page that has a lot of information and you have to uh, scroll down like that you just hit this button and then you click it and it'll uh, scroll down for you and capture it all uh, so that I, I really like that and especially if there's like um, like a say a PDF that you found online or just a website and it's got a like a lot of information you can just record that it'll take it as a snapshot and uh, save it as a PDF if you want or whatever you want so that's real cool uh, this one is the screen record mode and there's an other options too where you can say what you want as far as the settings go so for the screen recorder um, you can put it you know different areas 
and then you can uh, for the audio you can do record from the uh, device or just the speakers what you hear you have a lot of options here you can do your record and I'll show you how that looks so right now I'm just gonna capture the size that I want and then it gives it a few seconds and then it also says now the only downfall to this one it doesn't record 60 seconds uh, 60 frames per second it does 25 so if you're doing something pretty fast say Photoshop or a program where you're clicking one button and clicking another and another chances are it's not gonna capture all of the clicks you do unless you slow down and take your time you know you do one click then you go over and you click again you go over then you click again so um, that way it'll capture all of your clicks and where you're clicking that's the only downfall on this but again if you take your time it's gonna be it's gonna be worth it now one of the options uh, here's the frame rate under video you can do the drop down these are the frame rates that it has and of course the quality and you can record the mouse pointer please do me a favor if you use this one I, s I see so many YouTube videos and it's one of my pet peeves they have this click this is clicked by default um, let's see it's not this one it's under here this this is clicked by default under audio record mouse click sounds that is the most annoying sound ever especially if they're doing a Photoshop tutorial or something where there's a lot of clicks that's the most annoying sound so please if you do get this one please go under options audio and uncheck this box that way every time you click you won't hear the clicking sound and then of course you just hit OK and there's other options there you can mess around with those hit record and that's it so again those are the three that are pretty popular as far as screen captures and recording for tutorials um, and by far I think the best price is Faststone um, and of course uh, you know just gotta remember don't click it too fast and please take off that clicking sound I hope this